hey everyone welcome to technical voice so from this video we are going to start the implementation of calling the rest apis of the paypal from the c sharp so i have created a uh, you know tutorial application for you guys so uh, this is a console application uh, just for the demo of that how we will call the c sharp uh, how we will integrate the PayPal in our application so this could be the web app this could be the you know uh, any application whatever you have so the actu actual implementation would be in this project and uh, you can import this project uh, wherever you want okay at the end of the uh, tutorials I will upload into the github so uh, let me tell you uh, this is a console application and it's in the dotnet 6 but you can also use it uh, in uh, you know in dotnet 4.5 and in dotnet core wherever you want because at the end of, end of the day we are using the http clan which is available across all the dotnet framework okay so this is a console application so uh, this is just a menu so we will uh, type 1 for authorization and then if we type 2 then it will create any plan uh, with sample data and for example if we want to create subscription it will return the URL uh, so we will uh, press the 4 and same goes for uh, other options okay and uh, <coughs> if I go to the PayPal uh, here I have created uh, all the models request and responses uh, that I have explained in part 8 uh, how you can create the uh, you know uh, C-sharp classes from the JSON of the paper requests and responses this is the configurations uh, so the in real application you store in the you know in some settings file app.config or whatever app setting dot JSON okay and this is the uh, uh, our paper client API from where we will call the uh, our APIs okay for the webhooks we will add another uh, project later when we will implement the webhooks okay so for the config helper we need three configurations the one in the base url so our base url is uh, sandbox so when we go into the live we will change it but for the demo purpose this is our uh, base url for client id and client secret uh, let me go to get my uh, client ID and client secrets so technical voice and then sandbox account oh sorry this is the client ID copy it paste it here and for the client secret is our client secret copy it and then paste it that's it okay now uh, we will implement our first uh, uh, API call uh, which uh, should be used in other APIs for example we need to create a subscription for this we need authorization token so to get the authorization token we need to call the uh, this API so if I send request for you know uh, from the postman we are getting the token you can see this okay so let's implement uh, in our uh, code that how we will call this API from our uh, C sharp code so let's implement our API client okay okay so for this uh, let's implement our uh, whenever someone create our a client we should uh, create our HTTP client okay so for this let's create one method which should be uh, create HTTP client and uh, this will uh, you know create the HTTP client so private HTTP client uh, let's call it client and here client is equal to new HTTP client okay so whenever someone call we should call this the constructor 
next whenever uh, uh, we call some method we should ensure that our HTTP client is uh, and created so let's uh, create this should return so we are going uh, creating a get authorization to request so get authorization request so we don't need any information and uh, what it will return it will return the this response authorization request response why is it if you see the response of the request is it's exactly match with the C sharp class okay so let me go back and here now we should ensure that our HTTP client is created. Uh, so for this, let me create one more method: private void ensure HTTP client created. If client is equal to null, then create HTTP client okay now we should call here okay the next thing is uh, you know we need to how we call this uh, API from our postman let's look at it so we are sending uh, the basic authentications username and password and then uh, from the body it's uh, this is optional you can send or we are sending the grant time as client credential but this is optional you can send it if you want uh, some configuration for example if you want token every time a new token then you can uh, change these parameters but this is not really mandatory but we need to send the grant type to the client credentials okay so let's uh, do this in C sharp that we need to set the client ID and client secret as a basic auth so let's say for uh, binary and uh, encoding into ASCII dot uh, get bytes and we need to our config helper dot client ID and then config helper dot client secret and then we should send client dot default request headers dot authorization equal to new uh, value this is a basic authentication and then let's convert our byte array to the base 64 byte array okay now we need to send uh, you know the grant type and client conditions so for this we need to create the key value pair uh, let's say key value pairs is equal to new list key value pair oops value pair both are string and uh, let's initialize it key value pair and uh, this should be run type and then this should be client let me see that what exactly the value is client credentials grant type okay
that's it and now we are going to call the our client dot post async because this is the post request yes and uh, what is our URL so this is the base URL and then we need to add this one copy and paste and the next thing is uh, we need to send this as a form you are encoded so new uh, form you are encoded content which is our key value pairs okay so this will send the response and we need to store the response uh, for uh, let's call it response and we should await it okay so once we get the response let's deserialize it response as string await uh, response dot uh, content dot read as string and then we should uh, map it into or let's say uh, authorization response we should match the JSON into our C sharp class so for this we use JSON convert from the new Newton soft and uh, deserialize the object into authorization response data and we need to use this so there is some issue So this is a response. Now we should read a string, not as bytes. Okay. So it will uh, convert our resp the response exactly to like this. Okay. And then we need to return uh, our authorization response okay so let's see it's working or not okay okay no that's not the issue so again uh, you can structure your code with your own way this is just an example so you can create more classes and more interfaces but this is just a demo so that's why I'm uh, keeping the things sim uh, as simple as possible okay now from the program let's uh, say that whenever someone select the one let's create our API here uh, it's called the war client is equal to new paypal API client I have already uh, included the reference of this project into this project okay and now let's call client dot get authorization request and we should await var res response equal to await and when it's done I think we should create the methods for it let's call uh, Orders again, and then console dot write line response dot token. This is the access token that we should print. Let's debug it. 
let's see what happened so let's select one and enter get into it ensure this is our client ID and client secret and then send it so the status quo is 200 okay and let's let me show you that how this looks so this is the JSON exactly that we are receiving in our postman okay you can see this is exactly the same one now we need to convert into our C sharp class so this will do this job and if I enter it you can see everything is mapped into our C sharp class and return and so it prints the access token that we have received from our PayPal uh, REST API so that's it for this video that uh, we have seen that how we call uh, the authorization request to get the access token okay so in the next video we will use this token and we will call the uh, uh, we will see that how we can create a plan from our C sharp code thanks bye bye